How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? So, Manuel Neuer has extended his contract after what seems to be like roughly two months um, of contract discussions, of course, during this quarantine period. Contract, dis contract discussions may take longer, may take shorter, we don't know. But so far, you know, he has extended his contract. Now, um, I could probably find the English version of this. I looked for about... 10 seconds, I uh, didn't find it right away and I was like, you know what, I see the German version right away so let me just read what the German version has to say and I'll translate it on the fly and see what all the people, all the relevant people of course um, have to say about his contract extension before I give my take on the whole story. So, um, I'll obviously have the link for this in the description down below but it's from on the, on the official Bayern website and basically says Manuel, Lawyer, Manuel Neuer extends his contract until 2023. Manuel Neuer, 34 years old, um, has extended his contract with FC Bayern until the 30th of June 2023. So, two-year extension. Um, he's obviously 34 years old, 2023, you know, that's in three years' time. Um, I mean, this season is pretty much a write-up, but it's still in three years' time. So, he'll be 37 years old by 2023, which is obviously a good age for a keeper. I mean, keepers usually retire around, like, 30... I mean, there are some exceptions, of course, but they are usually they retire at like 38. I want to say like 38 is usually the, the age where a keeper, you know, or keepers usually retire. Um, and his, you know, he'll be um 37 by then, I think, or 36 or 38. Um, I don't actually know when his birthday is. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, I, again, I'll, I'll give my whole take, my whole thought process on this later on, but I just kind of like want to go over what people are saying. So. First off is Karl-Anton Um FC Bayern is very happy and glad that Manuel Neuer extended his contract until the 30th of June 2023. Um, Manuel is uh, Neuer is the best goalkeeper in the world and our captain. And then Oliver Kahn basically said, uh, uh, I can very well imagine myself in a situation in which Manuel um, is currently in. I can very well place myself in the same situation that Manuel is currently in. Um, we understood which direction Manuel wants to go um, in this specific phase, this, this specific scenario of his career, and with the contract extension, um, he gave us a very clear signal of what he wants to do. Just give or take, alright? Give, give, give me a break here. I'm translating this all on the fly, alright? Damn it. <laughs> uh, is, is that still Overcan? Mm. No, it's Manuel Neuer that's saying it. So Manuel Neuer now speaking. In the weeks leading up to the shutdown, the quarantine, um, as a result of the coro... I can't... Can I even say that word on YouTube without getting the monetized? I mean, the videos... Who cares about monetization anyway? Uh, in the weeks leading up to the quarantine due to the corona, the corona pandemic, um, I didn't want to... I didn't want to do a decision. I didn't want to hold a decision because nobody knew... Um, if Bundesliga football would continue in the first place. And it was important for me to continue working with our goalkeeping trainer, Tony Tapalovic. Um, and as, as that has now been all cleared, I look with great optimism into the future. I feel very well at Bayern. Uh, it's my home. Um, FC Bayern is and will forever be one of the top football clubs uh in Europe. Um, and then Hassan Salihamidzic basically says um, the contract extension is an important signal for Bayern uh, as well as Manuel Neuer. Uh, together we got a together we decided we created a win-win situation for the both of us. Um, obviously that's very important for Manuel as well as for us. Uh, Neuer uh, stands for continuous success at FC Bayern um, for leadership as well as world class. I'm happy slash glad uh, over our continuous working together. There you go. All right, that's my best thing. It, it's basically like the same. It's basically like the the words that they always say. All right, like, let's be totally honest here. It, everyone says that. You know, if you ever have, if you've ever re read like a single contract extension, they all they always 
always say the exact same thing. Oh, we're so happy, you know, to, to, to continue working with X, Y, and Z player. Uh, it, it's such a great experience to work with X, Y, and Z player. They stand for leadership, responsibility, their this and that. Okay, that's all cool. Um, what I found interesting there though, this is actually the first time I read it, so what I found interesting there is what Noya actually said, that he didn't want to make a decision um, during this current pandemic, as well as that he wants to ensure that the goalkeeping um, coach, the goalkeeping um, manager, I guess you want to call it that, is still there working with him, which to me I find very fascinating and good, because there are obviously a lot of clubs in the world um, big clubs in the world. <clears throat> I've got a hiccup. I've got a hiccup now. A lot of big clubs in the world that are not satisfied with their goalkeeping coaches. Um, that's a story I've heard from numerous big clubs, and I don't talk about other clubs on the channel. You know, that's that's just not what I do. But I do follow other clubs. I follow pretty much every club in world football. <laughs> I pretty much like I read about every single club in world football. That's basically just what I do. Obviously, with Bayern, I follow everything that's happening from like this from like the lowest level until the highest level. But like I do read about every single club as well. Um, it's kind of what happens when you're on the internet, I guess. You read about everything and you follow people that support other clubs. You know, you just see what they're saying. Um, what I find interesting, though, is um, that he obviously waited you know, until he got more clarity on this season specifically. So there's obviously a few other contract, contract extension talks that are currently going on, um, and we haven't really heard much about them for like the last month or so. Um, now the question is, are they waiting as well? Are they all waiting kind of like, to see what happens with the rest of the season? I could very well imagine that. Now here's my thoughts with Manuel Neuer. Manuel Neuer, I'm glad that he extended. <laughs> wow, such deep, intricate thoughts. I'm glad that he extended. <sighs> shocking, shocking, sh absolutely shocking. How dare I say something like that? Yeah, how dare I say something like that? I like Manuel Neuer. Um, he still hasn't lost quality. There was a time, like last season, I think it was, or was it two seasons ago? I can't remember now because everything's kind of like muddled up at the moment. But there's a time, like last season slash two seasons ago, where I thought like he showed you know, big weakness where he, whatever goals that we conceded that, you know, we, we normally wouldn't concede. Um, but then again, this season happened again. It was like, yeah, I'm back. I'm, I'm back. I'm back. That's, that's really it. Like once he got it over his um, injury, I, I think actually no, it was last season. Cause I remember saying last season during the summer that, you know, Neuer was out for like six months. I think was it last season? He was out for like, I think six months, and was it three months? It was, he was out for a long period of time, and I was like, if he's out for a long period of time, usually you should give him that period of time to come back. So if you, I think it was out for three months, and I was like, you should give him three months, like just play, just to get rhythm, you know? As a goalkeeper, you don't get that much rhythm in the first place. You know, it's a lot more harder to get actual match practice because you're rarely in action. And like, once um, he kind of gets back into it, he'll be back a, a okay. And that's basically what happened this season. So, I'm absolutely happy. I mean, yes, he'll be you know in his late thirties. Goalkeepers, it doesn't matter. Goalkeepers, I don't really care. You know, I, it doesn't really matter. You're more so based on your reaction speed, and your reaction speed is actually not something that goes really down with age. Your reaction speed still stays up relatively, of course. You know, depending on your age, of course. If you say at 80 years old, obviously your reaction speed will go slowly there. But like, you know, your reaction speed generally doesn't go down that fast, and it's more so important to be agile rather than. Um, quick you know so like having good reaction speed and being agile it's going to work very well for him now Noya is obviously a keeper that likes to go out as well he kind of redefined the goalkeeping position if you want to say it um so it's going to be quite interesting to see how age will affect him but i think just because he's been so he's been so unorthodox you know actually going out of his box and whatnot i feel like he might actually be more you know fitter then most other goalkeepers would be in that, you know, in, in um, at that age. So I think like maybe like he won't have the same effects of like slowing down and have the same effects of getting worse and worse with time because he's so unorthodox. Now you could obviously also flip it and say that you know once he gets older he won't be able to be that unorthodox anymore because he can't just come out. He won't have that kind of spring in his legs to come out. But I think maybe like that's that having that early spring in your legs being sort of like a midfielder ish, you know, I don't wanna say I don't wanna say a midfielder, but like being like sort of like a midfielder ish, um, kinda made him healthier, fitter, um than a normal goalkeeper would. It remains to be seen, of course. You know, in three years' time I could be here and I could be saying, ah, 
absolutely terrible in three years time i could be here and saying whoa absolutely brilliant give him another contract extension now of course the question of nubel is a big one um i won't mention him just yet uh because i feel like I want to say he goes out on loan, but obviously the, the sources say that he's not going out on loan. But I do want to say that he goes out on loan. And even if he doesn't, three years isn't a tremendously long time. Yes, I don't feel he's going to get any games next season. Honestly, I, I maybe none. Um, but I feel like in two years' time, you know, if he really establishes himself as like a secondary, like a backup, in two years' time, he might knock on the door and say, hello, let me in. Let me in. That, that basically, like like the meme. Yeah, um, so I feel like that's, that might very well happen. Um, but regardless of Lane Jun, that's my thoughts on Noya. It's not really any shocking force. It's not really anything, you know, drastic, dramatic or anything of that sort. It's just, yeah, good stuff. Now there's a few other contracts, contracts that I would like to be extended, but we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Regardless, though, Lee, I don't I say regardless way too many times. I, I need to think of a different word. Um, with this... With this grandiose speech, I shall be ending my video. Um, Dost thou, the rose of roses, though? I don't know what I'm saying, but I, it will rhyme, though. Romeo or Romeo, where are my Shakespeare? I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm ending it here. I'll see you all in the next one, everyone. I'm a lyrical wizard. The fun is on, and the video. It's finished. <laughs> I'll see you until next time, everyone. Peace out and have a nice day. Bye.